This video is brought to you by Beckett, HVAC pump solutions you can trust. Learn more at beckettus.com forward slash industrial. So I had a comment that was interneted to me 17 hours ago, looks like. It's on an electric furnace video where the heat in the blower ran constantly. And the comment was from a man named Eric. When I shut off on the thermostat, it won't shut off. So if you have an electric furnace that is running constantly, even in the off position, a lot of times that is because electric furnaces include little relays called sequencers. Now, sequencers are a special kind of relay. Instead of a holding coil, they have a bimetal switch, and that bimetal switch gets low voltage power and typically located on the base of the sequencers, and the high voltage switching takes place up high. There's sometimes a couple rows of contacts or at least one row of contact. A 5KW sequencer has one row. A 10KW has two rows. And if you go up to 15 or 20, typically it's two separate sequencers in tandem. But when these sequencers engage, that initial 5KW will bring on the blower because sequencers have a timing. So let's say if you have 20KW, you might have a sequencer where the first five comes on at a certain point then the next five to make 10 comes on a few seconds later, and then so on and so on till you get to 20. But whenever the machine cuts off, it works down in the opposite way, so the blower stays on until the last sequencer goes off. Now, if that sequencer is stuck, then it'll make the heat in the blower run constantly. So what happens is even though the low voltage power to the base, to that bimetal switch, is offline, the high voltage is still getting through because the sequencer is stuck closed. Therefore, the blower gets constant power and the heat gets constant power. Now, you can shut off the breaker to solve this problem. That's one way of dealing with it until you can fix the problem. And typically, fixing the problem is as simple as changing that sequencer. And it's a pretty common problem with electric furnaces because the sequencer relays have very high amperage going through them all winter long. And if they're heat pumps... They still have the amperage going through during the defrost cycles. Electric furnaces are a little bit worse for this because that's the primary source of heating is the resistive heat. So they have a heavy load on them for several months out of the year at least. That being said, they're prone to failure and it happens quite a bit. So make sure you check those sequencer relays when you face that particular problem next time you visit an electric furnace.